works are given now, and all of the uh, evidence that's taken from the studio will have to be gone through, and um, the case has to be considered as to whether or not they're going to prosecute anybody. Back at Basildon, the arrested man known as DJ Flame is put in the cells, finishing off a very different job for the interceptors. I've never shut down a, a radio station. Yeah, I was not really sure what I was expecting. I think I was expecting to be a little bit more professional <laughs> and it to be like soundproof and things like that. But we went in and it was literally just a couple of speakers and microphones and decks. That was it. So I wasn't as impressed as I thought I was going to be. So I didn't like the music that I played. DJ was later formally cautioned from licensed broadcasting and had all his records seized. Clash FM was closed down and had all its equipment seized. It's just after 10 in the evening and veteran interceptor Russell Gay is out on a routine patrol in the Mark Mondeo. That's the 30 limit, and he's still doing 50. Oh dear. He's just spotted a BMW X5 going well over the speed limit. Well, we just clocked him for uh, 64, and then he's doing 50 and a, a 30. Oh. That's time oh. not very clever, is it? Oh. Let's have a look at that. Oh. Oh. I think we can get behind him. If you're driving a car in Essex that's got yeah, something wrong with it, you don't want to run mm. into Russell. He's the Interceptor's traffic law guru, and there's nothing he likes more than checking out a dodgy motor. Hello there, I'll be with you in one moment. He's onto the Beamer's tyres in a flash. Well, we'll put dinner in. When was the last time we checked your tyres? It's, it's a hire car. I've literally had to say I've got the car before. I've got a hire car. I'm not going to the taxi. Completely bald. I'll never clue. Well, look at that. It's got nothing on. <laughs>